wheels. It looks so good. What is up guys and welcome to the vlog. This has been one of the busiest weeks I've ever had. Sorry if I sound a little bit off, I am getting sick. I have a stuffy nose, my throat hurts, so apologize if, you, if I seem a little off today, but uh, can't stop the vlog life, we have a lot to do. So to start today off, we are heading up to Carbon Exhaust. If you guys don't know who Carbon Exhaust is, they were building me a custom exhaust for the WRX before it got wrecked, and uh, now they wanna take a look at the Type R and uh, see what they can do. After that, I'm heading to Premium Auto Styling, and we're gonna do some like vinyl overlays, kind of blackout these side markers and uh, maybe do a few little other things and I'll take you guys along for that as well. So I have about an hour and a half drive so uh, let's go ahead and start making this drive. Man's already checking it out. We just made it to Carvin Exhaust. We're gonna take a look at the Type R in a little bit, but first, I do wanna show you guys the WRX exhaust that we were planning to put on my car before it was wrecked. Yeah, uh -huh. it's nice though, right? Oh you know, my man. gosh, dude, it's insane. Yes. It's insane, for real. He uh, sent me one clip over text message, but it was just like a cold start, so, and that sounded, it's unlike any exhaust I've ever heard. Like, it is really nice. I can't wait to show you guys. I guess, for so however, however you want to do it. This is honestly, uh, we're gonna finish installing or show the install of the polish kit that we just finished up. And then uh, we have the black one that we can lay out or test out. We actually were thinking about putting it on Marco's car for you so you could hear yeah. it on both platforms. Cause so now, nice. one thing I do want to point out before is like, we really shocked to keep it tucked up. Yeah. As far as like up against the body. One thing I tried to keep in mind was, you know. Low cars. Not just static guys, but bad guys. Yeah. Um, so if you look, we, you can see with where their mid pipes at, or their flex pipes out on their mid pipe, it hangs down really low. And a lot of people end up scraping this. So what we did is kind of pitch it up. And you can see from the back of the car now, this whole piece is like really tucked up against the car. So it should give the guys that are, you know, wanting to go real low and or bagged a good choice. You know what I mean? To stay away Same. from scraping as much as possible. Very good. A lot of you guys will be happy about that too. So let's, uh, let's hear this thing, bro. For sure. Let's, um, this is going to be, oh, man. you know, what's featured on the kit. I figured so cool. right now we can go take it over to laser and have the tip yeah. engraved and we can kind of show you guys what the plan is with these. That's sick. So the idea for my car when I wanted the exhaust was the ceramic black tip, which is this will come on the kit when you guys actually buy this exhaust, which is gonna be really cool. I really like how this exhaust angles up. It makes me so sad that my car is wrecked now, dude. Cause like this was gonna be my kit just with like the black tip on it, but oh, still. We had like, two of your mufflers sitting yeah. in the office. Still. So, but this was the kit that we were making for this, for the my car. And this is actually going to be a production exhaust. So if you're interested in this, Carvin's link will be down below with their email and everything. You can get this full kit. We have, they have uh, black ceramic coating. You can get kind of like this brushed look, which is personally my favorite. Cause it looks more like a track car. It's not super polished, but it has that nice brushed look. Guys. And it's 100% 304 too. Yeah. It's not going to be like a lot of high polished um, other mid pipes and, and stuff like that. It's It does have more of like a satin finish to right. it, but it's because it's full yeah. 304. It's, yeah. it, there's no 409 in this, so no issues with rust or anything like that either. And you guys saw like the welding. Oh, look at that. You can see in the camera. Very good welding and probably my favorite part is how it angles upward. It's not like a side exit, but it's more of like a upward angle. Very cool, I'm stoked to hear this thing. 
All right, is this the uh, the first first startup cold start right now? This is a first cold start, but yeah, with the with the with the polish kit on, this is the very first time we've started. Uh, oh man, this up. I'm very excited to hear it. All right, let's do it. That sounds so good. heard a WRX that sounds like that with this exhaust. That's a completely different tone. It's amazing. If the WRX isn't totaled, I am 100% getting this. This is, oh my god. Even at idle, it sounds very good. It's just a completely different tone that I've never heard before, which I really like. He's gonna go ahead and lower it so we can get like a view from it on the ground, which will be really nice too. Oh. You can hear that turbo spool, that turbo spool in it. It looks really good. so deep and throaty it's incredible oh, bro incredible <laughs> it's so good thanks man thanks i love the way it looks dude it looks so good. <laughs> oh, dude, the polish. Yeah, the welding and everything. Exhaust is sick, dude. So good. <laughs> it's gonna take a ride to see how it sounds while driving. Oh, I haven't sat in and never X in so long. But, I mean, shout out to Subaru, but those type <laughs> R seats though, man. <laughs> For all the Subi guys out there, it definitely still pops. I promise you that. <laughs> all right, what do you guys think about it? Leave in the comments. This, I mean, personally, I think the exhaust for the Direct sounds incredible. By the way, they have five kits ready to go right now. Only five. So if you're interested in this exhaust, I'd recommend getting it now while they still have those five left because uh, if you order it now, you won't have that wait time. So I definitely suggest grabbing one while you can. I'll leave all their information down below. Like I said, it's incredible. And that was only on the stock downpipe. So imagine you are one of the guys with an aftermarket downpipe. The exhausts run for under $700, so they're very, very affordable. But now we're done driving that car. We're gonna go ahead, pull in the Type R, and let's see what we can uh, do with this exhaust. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like this before. I mean, we got two hangers down here. This tip isn't even like an exhaust tip. Uh-uh. Well, it is. Uh, it is. is. It's, it's, connect, it's bridged okay. here. Oh. It's got, so these are the two mufflers it bridges, and then it's got three tips, three opening. That's very strange. It's connected across. So this is like, like a drone cancellation a drone piece. cancellation yeah. kit, yeah. These guys are like mad scientists right now, trying to like, <laughs> understand what's going on. We're gonna try out and see what a quad tip exhaust looks like on this. We're gonna use tips from the newer model WRX and STI to kind of see what will fit right here. If we can like kind of stagger the tips and stuff just to kind of play with some things. So what I was talking about earlier, having the, yeah. the, uh, the shorter ones 
within there. Yeah, I think it would be too wide. I think quad tip would be just a little bit too wide, and the tri tip is like the staple for the Type R. So I kind of think I want to stay with the the tri tip exhaust. Bring it down. I think, we, uh, I think we did good today. I think we did good. I am so glad that everything came out to your liking. The Subaru exhaust was incredible. Very excited to see you guys rocking that exhaust too. That's something that I helped design and like that was gonna be on my car too. So seeing you guys rock it, like that's, that's very, very cool. So <laughs> be sure, links down below. But yeah, I think we're gonna have some awesome stuff in the works for the Type R. It will take a little while because it's fully custom and we're gonna make sure that everything is right. It has the perfect exhaust tone because these things can be pretty iffy with exhaust. So I do wanna have that perfect tone to where it's not too over the top, you know? Well, I'm excited to get this thing in the laboratory, man. Sit. Thank you. I will for see everything. you soon. I'll Absolutely, see you soon, dude. Absolutely. Keep me in the loop about this. Yeah. Seriously, text me. If you're yeah. driving on the freeway and you think <laughs> of something like, you know, I want it to have this or want it yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, Keep me in the loop because I want to like collaborate on yes. this. <laughs> you're the sick. one that's driving it. We want to make this, we're about, you know, the enthusiasts, so we want to make it a driver's kit. That'll be sick, bro. That'll sick, man. Sick. Drive right, man. safe. See you guys. Have a good one. Well, that was a very successful trip. Now it is time to go over to premium auto styling and get some overlays done on this car. So what does this thing you take me out of time? All right, we just made it to premium auto styling. We pulled the, the Type R inside. We're not doing too much today, but we are gonna do some uh, blacked out taillight overlays. We're gonna black out these little pieces right here, as well as these side markers, which in the long run, I probably will replace with uh, some clear ones because it looks really good and clear. But while we're here, might as well just do a little bit of the small stuff that I think will bring out the rear end of this car a little bit more. Right, El Jefe? Yeah, it looks You're like, dude, what the hell are you, what are you bringing out to me? So all of the overlays are pre-cut. Makes it very easy for install. You really don't need a blade. There's no cutting required except trimming the excess material off. Uh, the first overlay we'll start with is the blackout deck. This is probably the most popular for these, uh, these hatchbacks. We're selling these like crazy. Uh, but basically, like I said before, it's just gonna gloss black. All of this right here, with the exception of this guy here. But it's pre-cut, so it just kind of goes right up next to it. Then from there, we'll move over to the tail light. We'll smoke this out, and then we'll go down, we'll tint these. Dude, I'm stoked, my man. You're in, this is You're my, in my shot. way, bro. Watch out. Shot. That's their professional setup in here, man. They're doing like a full install video. They have behind the scenes video. So I'm just letting Daniel do his thing. Let the pre-cuts look back. They look a little awkward. How's zoom on this? Oh, no, that's focus. Wow, you're, you're fucking like, you just leave. Later, dude. Okay. Horrible. All right, let them do their thing. Daniel killed it, of course. Thank you. We have the uh, the smoked out. What is that? Like the reverse signal, and then all of this just got blacked out as well. I'll show you guys what it looks like stock, clear, and this is kind of like a it's called the overlay the tail light deck blackout because it's kind of like the top side of it. And you know, putting the gloss black over it, it's not a, like a tremendous difference. All you're getting rid of is you're really just tying this together because this is black here, so bringing that black all the way around just gives it a cool look. You get rid of the reflectors and uh, just more consistent look. And also, one of the things that I really, really like is the blacked out reflector right here. You can't even see it on camera anymore, but yeah. Bro, that's all, dude. Like it? We killed it. Bro. Sweet. So that I think the coolest part about all this stuff is something you can do in your garage in 15, 20 minutes. We knocked it all out and you get a whole different look. It's sick. Definitely brings the rear end out more, especially because it's a black car. It all like blends in really nicely. Dang, dude. I'm stoked. And I like the, the black on reflector as well. Right, so. right. This is all on the site, right? Yep. Okay. All this stuff's pre-cut, easy to install. We have install videos on our other YouTube channel, Premium Garage, so if you want more detailed install videos, go to our YouTube channel and check it out. But yeah, all this stuff is straightforward, really easy to do, and we sell a lot of them, so I know a lot of cars already may be watching already have this. You can see like the difference, it's really cool. I'll leave their link in the description below. They have stuff for soup, really all the cars, right? Yeah, 
basically any car, especially all the new platforms, the Honda, Subaru, uh, all the Chevys and Fords. We got a bunch of different overlays for you guys. So you guys know what's up. Thank you, Daniel does such a good job every Thanks time. Thanks for letting us do it. Drive safe, brother. See you guys. See you later. All right, guys, we finally made it home. I'm still not feeling very well. I uh, tried to go to the gym and get a workout in, but felt really sick there, so I didn't do too much. But uh, sorry if I was a little bit off today in the video. I really am just feeling sick. Uh, I wanted to end this video and show you guys and show you guys the taillight overlays and some more angles of the wheels. I am actually very, very impressed with these tires. These tires feel great. They're super grippy on the road. I really want to plan a canyon run to go and rip these in the canyons because these Yokohama Advanced Sports are incredible. They feel really good. The wheels feel really good. Overall, I'm very happy with the setup that I went with, but let's talk about the taillight overlays. It's a very, very subtle mod, but I think it brings out the, the back end a lot more, makes it look a lot better. Blacked out all of this, so it kind of blends in with the car more. Got a subtle, kind of like a smoke tint right here. On this black car, I think it looks really good and stands out a lot. I am so unbelievably in love with this car, especially with the new wheel setup. And when the coilovers come in, it's gonna be so good. Okay guys, that's gonna end the video for today. Like I said earlier, be sure to check out Carbon Exhaust as well as uh, Premium Auto Selling. They're both incredible companies. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to see all of the awesome car adventures that we have planned for all of my cars. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.